So I've decided to do one more short video just showing how you can actually do this problem entirely using the calculator as well. Um, so what I'm going to do on the calculator, firstly I'm going to bring up the keyboard, I'm going to go into Math 2 and I'm going to insert a 2x2 two two matrix. Now in that matrix I'm going to put in uh, obviously the coefficients. Um, so I'm going to put in M, 3, 1 and M plus 2. There we have it. Now. The nice thing on this calculator is that we can actually go into um, action then matrix and we can get to do a calculation of the determinant. Okay, so this is going to calculate the determinant of that matrix. And I want this determinant to be equal to zero. The next thing we have to do is we have to solve this because we want to solve it for M. We want to find out what the values of M are that make this happen. So I'm just going to highlight this go to interactive, equation, and then solve. I'm going to change the variable to m. Of course, you could have just used x um, if you want to, but I chose to use m to make it less confusing because there's already a letter x in the problem. So if we just go OK, we can see immediately that m is equal to negative 3 and m is equal to 1. And so that takes us through to that point, which is quite a long way down our working out to right here. And then we still have to do that test in the equations, OK? But uh, that's a fairly quick and easy thing to do. So I, I think this is obviously the most efficient way of doing it. And if this question were to come up on exam two, this is what I would expect you to do, okay? This is the easiest way to do these kinds of problems. Um, but as I said, it is important. You also know how to do it by hand. So anyway, I'll leave it there. See you all later.